so today I'm going to hear talk about your names list. As I'm talking, I would make your notes into two sections. So if you're going to do like two columns, um, one column for ideas, the other for people you think of while I'm speaking, because this talk will give you the opportunity to start building up your names list. Right now, work on your top 50 list of like people you can show to and give you resources to check out after the conference. So for names, what I can tell you is the pool of names is huge. You know a lot more people than you think you do. These people are what we call your chicken list. Your chicken lists are people you know or know of that you're scared to call. The note with the chicken list is if you don't call someone, someone else will, and trust me, trust me, I'll be giving you examples, that happens. And what is the worst people can say? No? You do not know unless you try. So you might as well ask. So I have a bunch of categories for you all and I know in the handout it has some listed. So the first category is family. Make a family tree, honestly. Like go through, have your parents, there your siblings, aunts, uncles, grandparents, have it go down. Start off with your parents. You probably showed them by now. If your aunts and uncles, what about your third aunts and uncles? So these would maybe like your parents' cousins, both sides of the family. So your mom's side and your dad's side. I didn't call my dad's cousin for a bit. They bought knives from Katie Heaney, who's a career sales professional here in St. Louis. I had to practically beg him to do a demo with me. And then he, I sold $600. This was like in July. I started in May. So go through your parents' cousins on both sides. Your parents' cousins' cousins. What about there? So go through your great aunts, your great uncles, your cousins, cousins. What about your older cousins? Like your cousins who are like in their 30s, you could show cut coattail. Now under your parents line, under the parents line, so just like do a dash. What about your parents' friends from grade school? Your parents' friends from middle school? Your parents' friends from high school? For example, Brady Burke, he's a rep in Nate's office. He sold to my mom's friend in high, who was my mom's friend in high school. I talked to her this summer and she told me that she bought from Brady, it was $400, haven't called her. Brady started this summer, I started in May of 2020. So was someone on my chicken list. But your parents' friends from college. Again, both your parents with your mom and your dad. What about your parents' childhood friends? like people who they would like go on walks with, with now your now grandparents. Parents, neighbors growing up. Another example for y'all for a chicken list. Luke, he started Nate's office a week after me. He sold 750 to a really good family friend of my family's who my dad grew up with next door. So it's like your parents category and your family. So you have your parent, your whole family, and then your parents, just align for that. So go through your entire family, like start making a family tree. I'm not kidding, I started making a family tree for my family. It's like, we need one. It's also good for the family. Then after your family, what about neighbors? Your neighbors in the house that you grew up in, like the house next door, next door, across the street, what about your whole neighborhood? And then your neighborhood next door. I'm sure all the neighbors somewhat know you or know you or your parents do, like you've walked through there, or if you haven't, start walking through there and then get to know the neighbors and call them. Mike King put sticky notes on his neighbor's doors with his phone, with his phone numbers. So go through your whole neighborhood, your whole strip, not just the houses next door, everyone, your whole neighborhood and neighborhood surrounding. So your neighbors, what about people you played sports with or like were involved with any activities you did when you were younger? It's about soccer, tennis, swimming, golf, baseball, dance, gymnastics, theater, voice lessons. Anyone in that category, even if it's friends, write them down. It's people you did like activities with. Now your friends' parents. If you look at your contacts, have you all really texted all of your friends in your contacts, ask them for their parents' numbers? If you haven't, make a note. Text all rest of friends for parents' numbers. I have a resource for that at the bottom of the handout. Go through your friends from grade school. Look at each grade. 
your friend from kindergarten, friend from first grade, friend from second grade, friend from third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, we're going into middle school now. Who is your friend or like your friend group from each of those grades? What, are, what about if you're in college, like your friends in college? friends in each of your group, like a friend in each class. You've all probably taken a lot of classes. So each of your friends in all, all those classes, whether it's your major courses or your core classes, all those people, or if you're involved with anything on campus, like whether it's a sorority or a fraternity, if you're in a sorority or fraternity, have you showed every, all your brothers or your, all your sisters? If you're in a service organization on campus. Have you reached out to those people, your friends with? You're in a church group on campus. Have you reached out to those people? Any student involvement thing you were in camp, you were involved in on campus previously or now, have you reached out to all those people asking for their parents' numbers? If you haven't, make note, like reach out to sorority sisters, fraternity brothers, student involvement, or just bold it, student involvement. I didn't ask my friend Brooke, um, who lives across the hall from me, so people in your dorms, um, for her parents' number. I was sitting down with her last September and she was like, oh, what do you do this summer? And I said, I sold Cutco. And she goes, oh, she goes, yeah, like Cam Coffee started three weeks after me, sold their family like $300 worth of Cutco. Brooke was like on my chicken list for mom. And I was out $300, 300 CPO. So go through your friends, all of your friends from when you first could walk till now. Go through all the years. It's a great way to reconnect with people too, just to catch up in conversation. What about your siblings, friends, parents? So if you have siblings, like for me, I have three brothers. They're friends from grade school, from middle school, from high school and college. So I showed like one of my, my older brother, Billy, I showed his college friends' parents, sold them hunting knives. I haven't gone through, honestly, all my brothers, um, but I can tell you, I showed my younger brothers. Um, well, I didn't actually, I show, I wanted to show my younger brother, Carl, his parents, but Carl ended up starting here two weeks after me. And, um, he showed, it was like 50, 50 between us. He got like half the friends that I didn't call who were on my chicken list. I called them. It was just too late. They were like, Oh, we just bought from Carl. So like who of your siblings, friends, have you, haven't you called? They could start working here in just a week. Um, or whoever's on there, someone on your team could call you in a week. So who of your siblings, friends, parents, haven't you called? Go through them. Like your, if your siblings, if they did any sports or were involved in anything, did dance or did anything, have you gone through all their friends to ask for their parents' numbers? So it's your siblings, friends, parents. Go through each of your siblings and all of their friends. What about any coaches, teachers, or mentors? Teachers from grade school, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, et cetera. Middle school, middle school teachers. What about high school, each subject in high school, each course in college. I did a demo with my dean of the business school. Reach out to the, to the dean of your business school. I actually have an email if you all want it. Drop in the chat and I'll email it to you. But I reached out to the, to the dean of the business school. Reach out to your dean. Reach out to your academic advisor. When we coaches from sports, Cam called my tennis coach before I could. He was on my chicken list. So tennis, swimming, any sports you did, football, basketball, baseball, any of your coaches growing up, like your little league coach up until like your high school baseball coach, whatever age you are. All of your coaches, your teachers, your mentors, like who is someone who you work with, you look up to, you've done a demo with them. What about your parents' coworkers? Parents' bosses and their coworkers. So it's like your parents have a boss and they also have people who they work with hand in hand daily too. And their previous coworkers. Have you showed anyone at their previous jobs that they've moved around? So parents, coworkers, but people from church, temple, synagogue, mosque, who haven't you called from church? Or if you don't go, who do you know goes? 
if you go to church this Sunday, like look around and see, I've looked around and seen, yes, I am focused, but I do look around and see, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's people I forget. So maybe this Sunday, like if you're walking out of church, if you see anyone, you're like, haven't I done a demo with them? Write them down, call them. So people from church, synagogue, temple, mosque, write them down. Or even if you don't know, like look up church people. Now into the who do you knows? Who do you know in the medical field? Who's your physician? Who's your dentist? I have not called my dentist yet. Who's your dentist? Doctor, nurse, orthodontist, anesthesiologist, surgeon. Who do you know in the medical field? Who do you know is a lawyer? Lives in X state. My goal is to show all people in all 50 states. I have 36 states to go. But who do, you, who do you know lives in X state? Just pull out a map and be like, who do I know? Or like ask your parents, who do you know lives in X state? Who do you know is an executive? Is in sales? Is a pastor? Owns a boat? Owns a second home? Is a financial advisor? Sells insurance? Is in a book club? Is a contractor? Is an accountant? is an author, is an engineer, is a baker, is a teacher, is a cook, loves to play X sport, what it is, is a photographer, owns a business, manages a restaurant, was your babysitter growing up, is a pilot, and law enforcement, is a farmer, likes to hunt and fish, has a big family, hosts a lot of parties and gatherings, is a vegetarian, is a realtor, or a lot of who do you knows. I know they're all written on that handout. Those are the categories of people you can show. There's actually a lot more. So there's a lot of benefits to reaching out to, to these people. First off, it gets you out of your comfort zone. Second is it challenges you. We all love a good challenge. Third is networking. This will help you get to your next job or internship. Like it'll help you learn about people's careers and paths and help you to get to know more people and you're networking around. And then fourth is you're more likely to get a sale for calling people you know. Why? It's because they know you better and they have rapport with people and people you know are more likely to support you and your goals. So. Those are some benefits for y'all. Now some resources. Go, have you gone through your parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, contacts? Just sit down with them. Hey, can we go through your contacts real quick and see? I'm working really hard to hit this scholarship or hit this contest. Can we go through and see if there's anyone else? Have you gone through all their contacts? What about directories? High school, high school directory, church directory, neighborhood directory local community directory, directory, yearbooks, go through your yearbooks and see people and find them, like see if who's on your, who's in the yearbook and then see if you can find them on social media and message them, which this leads to the next resource, friends on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, etc. message to your friends. And I have this in the handout, like you can send it on Snapchat, Instagram, text them. To say, hey, name, I just started a new job around school and for training, I have to do practice appointments for experience. What's your mom's phone number so I can see if she'd be open to letting me practice with her? It's in the handout, just like copy paste that. Next resource, Facebook. Facebook is huge, literally. I know my team right now, we love Facebook. You can send this message to your mom's dad's friends on Facebook or LinkedIn. Um, just friend your parents. If you don't have a Facebook, create a Facebook. It takes a hot sec. Um, and then add your parents on Facebook and then go through and message their friends. So you say, hey, so-and-so, it's your name's son or daughter or your parents' name's son or daughter. I had a quick question for you about my new job. Mind if I give you a call tomorrow? They will say yes. Then say, great, what's your phone number? And there you go. Go through Facebook. So these are just some recommend for resources for you all. Now into recommendations. The key to recommendations is to memorize the approach. It makes it easier. Trust me, it took me a lot longer 
to memorize it because I never thought about memorizing until later. It makes it infinitely easier. Then when you ask, you wanna ask with confidence, like shoulders back, chin up and smile. Ask with confidence. Thought jog, Mrs. Jones, like ask for what you want. Ask for neighbors, ask for family, ask for friends, like ask for people in X major, X field. For me, I was interested in financial advisors. So like I asked for people for financial advisors contacts. And then also with recommendations, it's to preface recommendations at the beginning of the demo. This is really key. And this really helps set me up, especially over winter break. I remember this in particular. So this is what I would say word for word. You guys can change it if it's to make it more personal to you. But this is what worked for me. So I'd say, Mrs. Jones, my goal for winter break is to sell this case. It was 10K and I'm currently at 3K. The only way I can hit my goal is to see 40 more people. The only way I see more people is through a friend of a friend like you. So at the end of every appointment, I ask every person, I see if they might know anyone who's going to see my demo, but we'll talk about it at the end. I would say that. So preface at the beginning. Social proof, name drop throughout the entire demo, one person per piece. This is my original manual here. I have my Aunt Helen next to Trimmer. Um, I have neighbors, my neighbors, the Cokes the butcher knife but have them all it's all written here have one person per piece it's social proofs mrs jones i know you heard about the job through so and so also along with mrs jones also gave me nine of her nicest friends so social proof then there's sponsorship so remind them of what it means to become a sponsor so 10 names equals one spotter sponsor 20 names equals double sponsor once I get 50 sponsors, I get a free piece of Cutco from my manager, and I'm actually going to raffle, raffle it off to my sponsors as a way to give back to the people who have helped me out the most. So Mrs. Jones, would you like to participate in the raffle? Then some key phrases. Mrs. Jones, you are at five and I only have five more until you become a sponsor. So what are the next five the nicest people you know? Just one more, please. Who else can we add? And then remember to thank them, remind them, thank them every time. You can never underuse the word thank you. Thank them a lot. So in summary, you wanna show cut code to people you know or know of. They are more likely to buy from you and give you recommendations to people you know or they have a great relationship with. Your pool of names is huge. Dive into those resources, call your chicken list or someone else will. I started doing the math through writing up this talk. I'm at least 8,000 CPO from not calling my chicken list and I haven't finished. And this is at over 30%. So I've lost at least $2,400 in money I could have. That's a lot of money and it really hurts. So please call your chicken list. With recommendations, the key is to memorize the approach. Put time in your schedule for when you're going to do this and tell your manager when you're going to do it and have them quiz you after. Preface recommendations at the beginning of the demo. Social proof throughout the demo. Talk about the sponsorship and remember to thank them. Your pool of names is huge, dive in. I thought of more people just through speaking to you all and writing this talk. I hope this helps you all too. Let's all have a great winter break.